G Gundam. Now, this is uh, one of my favorite Gundams, actually. This is actually my all-time favorite. This was, I think, like the third or second Gundam series that I saw. I sort of watched them in order of when they aired, with the exception of Double O. Uh, you know, I, I actually really liked it. I, I remember watching, you know, on Toonami, I think, wow, this is awesome. One thing I really liked about it, as opposed to the other ones, I really liked how, instead of, you know, when they, they were actually piloting the thing, as if they were, like, piloting a, a plane or a ship, I liked how they actually got into those little jumpsuits and, like, they could control the Gundam with their movements. I thought that was kind of cool, and it was nice, and I liked how they brought in a little bit of martial arts and stuff into it. As far as my, as far as my favorite character is, it would probably have to be either Sai Saishi or Domon. They are both pretty cool. And I think they have pretty good voice actors, too. Everyone knows who Domon is, the guy who does Mega Man. I can't remember his name. He's not even that important anymore. But his Japanese voice actor, I believe, is Tomokazu Seki, and I believe... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I believe uh, Sai Sai Shi was Kape Yamaguchi. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I remember some of the stuff about this episode. Our, the series. I remember there were like a bunch of episodes where they were fighting. I remember the shining finger, then the erupting burning finger. That was pretty badass. And the whole golden thing that he could do. I don't remember much about that. I don't even think I saw the final episode. I do remember how they revealed who uh, the mysterious guy in the mask was, which turned out to be Domon's brother. That was kind of weird, like... I don't know, like, Domon's brother actually died, then his spirit went to, like, that other guy's or something? I don't know. It was kind of interesting. But, yeah, I really like this one. I don't, I can't really say too much about it, because I haven't watched this one in a while. I wouldn't mind watching it again, but I don't really have a way to right now. I, I don't know. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say about this series. And yeah, it was pretty good. I'd recommend it in both English and Japanese, depending on what kind of source you have. So, yeah, see you guys later. By the way, the next two are going to be Gundam, not to spoil anything. But yeah, see you later.